If Robert Mugabe is feeling the pressure, it isn't showing. He was out campaigning near Harare, defying all the demands for Friday's vote to be called off. He can shout as loud as he like from Washington or from London or from any other quarter. Our people, our people, only our people will decide and no one else. A despot trying to pose as a Democrat. He insisted his opponent, Morgan Changarai, now in hiding, has nothing to fear. I hope that uh, they mean what they say. This is a regime which is, uh, which is acting irrationally uh, and uh, has been on a rampage uh, of violence and killings against the people. Uh, and so uh, they are where sometimes uh, it's not something to be trusted. Across Zimbabwe, there's been no let up in the violence which has plagued this election. These pictures show more opposition activists being arrested. Others have been attacked in their homes. The saddening thing is they are military type attacks. We are all unsafe. We are just walking the shadows of death. What we need in Zimbabwe is uh, military protection. What we, because we are being attacked with guns. The people are under siege. They are dying and uh, we don't know what to do. The condemnation of the UN Security Council Security seems Council. to have changed yeah. nothing inside Zimbabwe. But it has put more pressure on South Africa's president, the key mediator, to intervene. Don't count on it, though. This was Tabo Mbeki with Mugabe just last month. Not the image of a man about to get tough. Quite diplomacy was rejected by a majority of people in this country, South Africa, and even the Zimbabweans themselves have actually said it has not worked. But what we have with President Mbeki is the same level of stubbornness. He has uh, moved on this path and he finds it unable to say, guys, I made a mistake, it does not work, let's try something else. It may be that Mugabe will refuse to listen to anyone, least of all, the true voice of his people who want him gone. Emma Hurd, Sky News, Johannesburg.